Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back, y'all. Today, I'm going to be using up some of this milk. I'm going to make mozzarella cheese and possibly get a batch of yogurt going. I never can remember how many jars of milk it takes to fill up this pot. Here we go. Mozzarella is one of the easiest cheeses you can make. You do have to have rennet. That's cream on top. <clears throat> Ooh. You may open one jar too many, I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, now I got to bring that up to a hundred degrees slowly. Okay, I need two teaspoons of citric acid first, and one quarter cup of water. spotted spoon. It just kind of disperses it a little bit and it causes the milk to kind of become the consistency of buttermilk. Kind of makes it curdle. That's it until it gets to temperature. Then I need half a teaspoon of rennet and a quarter cup of water. I will let that sit till I need it after I get it up to temperature. Okay, <clears throat> we are at a hundred degrees. This is my rennet and water. I start up and down. And don't ask me why, but that's just what they say. And then do the same thing with this. Get it stirred in. Burner all, cover it for 10 minutes and set my timer. 10 minutes. 
Okay, over here, I have a pot of hot water and it needs to be 170 degrees. It's about 165 right now. So I'm gonna take this lid off, put it over there. And then this has sat for 10 minutes and I'm gonna cut the curds. Okay, now I need to bring it to 110. So I'm going to turn my burner back on. Mm. Not getting warm. Turn it up just a tiny. Yep, we're a little bit over, but that's okay. Okay, now we got to strain it. get my gloves on because it's hot. It's not super hot, but it's hotter than I want to handle. Kind of need it. To get the excess way out, the bowl back, and then you want to salt it. Salt it quite a bit. I just eyeball it because there's really no set amount. Sometimes I have to salt my pizza because the cheese is not quite salty enough. And you don't really taste the salt in the cheese, but. Okay, I'll squeeze this in half. And work it. Sometimes it works the first time. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to do it two or three times. And there will be more whey that comes out. You want to work it until the surface is kind of satiny looking. And that one. And then we'll put it in a bowl. 
get the other one. My water here may be more than 170 degrees. That one's hot. Yes, my water is hotter than 170 degrees. Okay, that's a little ball. I'll put it in a bowl. Okay, I have two little bowls of mozzarella cheese. I'll let them sit for a minute because as you can see, there's a little bit of, it looks like milk that drains out. And then I'm going to cover them with tinfoil and put them in the refrigerator. Okay. See? And I, I just drain that off. You don't have to. But it makes it a cleaner cheese when you get ready to grate it up. And we're going to put the tinfoil on it. In the refrigerator for all right, sometime tomorrow about this time I'll get it out and grate it up thanks for watching